So your teacher has assigned you a research assignment and you don't know where to start. One of the biggest difficulties in all research is finding all of the relevant academic material available out there on your topic. Often this will come down to the search terms that you use. If you don't use the right ones or you don't use a good variety of search terms, you will not find all of the research articles out there on your topic and your mark will suffer. So step one. First of all, identify the major concepts or keywords in your research question. In other words, what is the topic of the research that you are doing? In this case, you are being asked to discuss the effect of television advertising on children. So the primary focus of your research is television advertising and children. These are your search terms or keywords, the terms that you are going to use in a search engine or a research database. But hey, you know how this works. You've used Google before. You've stalked that cute guy on Facebook. You've found out what your favorite celebrity had for breakfast on Twitter. And you've watched that dance video on Instagram. However, while supplying the techniques that you use to do all of this will work to some extent in terms of finding you some good research material, you will eventually end up at a roadblock where you cannot find anything more. And nobody wants to be the one in class that does not use the leading text on this topic in their essay. So let's go back a step. Take your original search terms, television advertising and children. Step two, consider any alternative keywords or phrases. These could be synonyms, different words that mean the same as your search terms, or they could be antonyms, words that mean the opposite of your search terms. They could be related terms. For instance, mental health and physical health are related terms. They could be broader or narrower terms, like dairy farming and agriculture. Or they could be technical terms. These are words that are only used by experts and academics working in the field. So in chemistry, you might talk about sodium chloride instead of salt. And remember to check your spelling. Make sure that A, you have spelled your search term correctly, and B, that you have accounted for variations in spelling due to where the research is compiled. Not all diarrhea is the same. Step three, go online. Look up your search terms of thesauri, encyclopedias, and dictionaries. Step four, use Koha, the Toy Ohomai Library Catalog. When you put a term into Koha, it will usually display the most commonly used terms that other people have used when they have searched with that same keyword. Records for articles and research databases also list the subject terms and keywords associated with those articles, and many of these are clickable. Step five, read an article. Once you have located a good article on your topic, read it. This will provide you with additional keywords as well. So hopefully by now you will have a big list of keywords and search terms. So it's time for step six, create a keyword research grid. This is where you organize all of your keywords and it is a really good tool for keeping track of what searches you have done and what keywords you have used in those searches. Cross out and add keywords as you go. And that's all there is to it. But if you have any questions, pop into the Toy or My Library or email us on the address shown here. Remember, all research is trial and error, and good research does take time. However, if you stick with it and follow these techniques, it will ultimately be rewarding and your assignments will be better. Good luck.